Alright guys, I'm going to break uh, Animu Sin here because I'm going to review that time I got reincarnated as a slime before it's finished. Because I really like this anime and the episode today just inspired me more because it's like every episode they do something, it evolves, the show evolves and like the arts get, in my opinion it just gets better and better as the show goes. And if they disprove me and it becomes like an overlord where I really liked it at the start and then some crazy stuff happens that makes me completely detest anime. I'll, re I'll correct it in a later video but I just kind of want to talk about why. I'm assuming most people are already watching this anime, I hope anyways, but if you're choosing not to because it looks like a very generic isekai anime, give it a chance. This is all, I, all I'm trying to convince you to do because it's my favorite isekai so far. Granted, I'm kind of jumping the gun, but it's got like 20, I think it just did the 20th or 21st episode, which is, that's a decent amount for an isekai, some go a little bit longer, but usually it's like a 26 episode kind of thing, at least for a season. So things I really like about this show is that Rimuru, there's very mature subject matter in this anime, and sometimes it's a little bit hard to catch because this is like a light-hearted, drawn and it seems like it's usually lighthearted, but some of the content is super mature. And I'm not going to spoil you, I try to avoid spoilers in these anime reviews unless something really upsets me, like the Overlord thing. And then I'll put it in the title if it's a spoiler uh, containing kind of episode. But I just want to talk about like the plot and mechanics of the show that I really like. So, Rimuru takes everything very seriously and he's a very relatable character. Because he doesn't... He doesn't always go for like the happy kind of like resolve everything thing. He goes for like what is best for relationships between him and the other characters in the show. He's not trying to, oh I'm a good guy, I'm going to save everyone, this is gonna... He's like, well I'm going to look at this relationship, look what's happening in this scenario, and then I'm gonna do the best I can for my friends, pretty much. Or acquaintances. I don't even know how far he would go to help certain people because it focuses a lot on his group, pretty much. Rimuru, the only like drastic decisions he makes in the anime is usually when like somebody else influences him to do it, and even then he takes it like very seriously before he like acts. That's something that you might have to get a little bit used to while you're watching this. Is he's not one of those brash, hot-headed characters. But he's also not just a straight up freaking jerk like Ainz was. That <laughs> bothers me to this day. Because I really like the show. Because the thing is, with the Isekai anime like this, where it's somebody from a regular world getting sent to a fantasy world or joining it or whatnot. For people like me, or people that grew up like me, your dream is this fantasy world kind of thing. Life's boring, you get sent to this fantasy world, and then there's all this crazy stuff to do. Like you go on adventures and stuff. Something most of guys do pretty well is show the like threats and downsides to this, but those are usually mangas. I haven't seen many animes that do that, that show the struggle of being in an Isekai kind of world, except for that Grim War. I can't remember what it was called, but goblins are killing people. Not Goblin Slayer, is another one. And I don't even know if they were transported to that world. It was really strangely written. I don't know if they did that justice in the anime because it's pretty dark, but. I'm not gonna lie, I got kind of confused. I'd have to, I'll have to look up the name. I'll put it in the description after the thing. And another thing they do really well is all the characters are pretty likable. Like, they don't do something just because of their trope, which is nice. Some, like, there's characters that define outside of their trope because their trope might be one way, but they evolve, like, by their um, experiences with Rimuru and his group of friends or acquaintances and it's it's neat watching them evolve they don't get really stuck in one type of character these are very dynamic characters they're not static where it's just like oh I'm a bad guy so I'm going to be a bad guy or oh I'm conniving or like st I got this sinister thing going on so I'm just gonna be a jerk about it the whole time they can actually like evolve which is really cool I like that in my opinion that's something I like and Rumor's powers are not Super overstated, kind of like Ainz. Ainz has all the powers, <laughs> it really seems like. And he's more... They're very brash about showing off his powers, and they do that with the remover a little bit as well. 
but I just kind of does it for uh, I don't even know like it feels like he's kind of just testing things to see how it is rumors actually like using his powers in ways that are like to help people or to like further his goals I don't even know what Ainz's goals really was except for being a jerk and trying to like take over everything I guess which is kind of in the name Overlord uh, I guess I don't know I didn't read the manga and the anime didn't really do it justice I don't believe so the arcs like they're important but they don't focus on one arc too much and they do this very well will give characters something to do like characters they will keep them relevant like Gopta is like a really good example because he's that generic weak character but so they're always doing something to like evolve the characters in the show are very dynamic that is one thing that you will really like about the show is that they're dynamic but give it a chance it's not it's not that lighthearted it looks very lighthearted by the way it's drawn and certain things but it has very mature scenes and they're handled in a very mature way it's not just the cliche kind of answer to a lot of these questions it's answered in a way where you can kind of relate to the character you can see what he was thinking when he did this and it might be sad but it makes sense like you can relate to it it's not just some crazy crap like where I'm not spoiling it. it if you want to know what I didn't like about Overlord just watch that video so <laughs> I don't want to spoil it uh, I'm gonna try to edit out those and everything because I've never really edited the anime review kind of thing I'm gonna work on that because I've kind of learned through my gaming series. But thanks for watching as always. Tell me if you don't mind if you got time. Tell me what you like about the anime. Because I know I probably missed a lot of things. Because I'm kind of ad libbing this. Because I'm not feeling too good. And I was just kind of thinking about it and I couldn't sleep. So I wanted to talk about it. Um, and if this goes south. Because I'm not going to read the manga. I started the manga before the anime came out. Which was kind of neat. Because I usually don't read manga. But if it goes south. I'll make another video trying to correct <laughs> What, everything I said here, I'll be like, oh, I like this, and then it went, <laughs> but yeah. Also, if you haven't already, check out Dororo. That's an older anime they just remade. It is awesome. I love that crap. It is so good. All oh, the last episode with the Spider Woman. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it was great. I did not see that coming. It was awesome. Watch that. <laughs> Watch it if you would. That's a good show. There's another one that came out this season, Mob Psycho season two. So. I like Mob Psycho Season 1, but that really felt like it was just like them showing how OP Mob was and like comparing the psychic power levels. And then the second season, it's a lot more deep. It's like focusing on what Mob wants in his life and like his relationship with other characters and some of the circumstances are just so funny and it's random. It's not like building up to the generic shonen bad guy fights like the kind of first season was. Alright, I'm done. I'm just kind of ranting. Thanks for watching as always. Please like and subscribe. Bye!